it is Twin Blaze here, back in another video. I hope you guys are doing great. It's just been a bit since we left off with a video on. Let's see here. We actually left off with the live stream, so let's say that. But I think we left off with the display name, so that's nice. Um, well, welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, click that most notification button and the subscribe button. It means so much to me. And also, while you're at it, join the Discord. It is in the description that we do do giveaways, and we're almost at 800 members. That is amazing. And once we're done with that, we're actually going to be moving on to a 1,000 member giveaway. So, yes. And um, join the group. It's in the description. We're at 500 members. Yes, that's an outdated photo, but we are at 500. So feel free to click that button in the description and join it. Now, you've probably been wondering, um, what could we do to... Uh, <laughs> talk about this today so okay sorry guys i'm really stressed out because this is actually not my script i want to let you know that before i start this i didn't make this someone else did i don't know who actually um but this is a simple version of a head move script so i'm gonna show you how it works but um basically you're gonna go in the description look for models it should say head move script you're gonna click that link and you will go over here click this button down here and it will say item own now it is in your just your thing your uh Toolbox. You're gonna to go to Open Studio. You're gonna go to Home. Hit Toolbox go over here, and then you're actually gonna hit Inventory. Now, once you go to Inventory, you are gonna go and check out. It should be in the first box right here. But you're gonna click Head Move Script. Now, inside that, it is gonna have a few things. Ungroup in certain places. So I'm not gonna remove this because we're gonna already be doing this today. So these are my new videos coming out, guys. We get a lot coming, so you can pause it and look at that if you want. But um, it's pretty cool. So uh. Inside here, let's say ungroup and replicated, you're going to pull this out. It's going to go replicated storage. You're going to go to server script service, and you're going to go to starter character scripts down here, right there. So that's where you move them. Now, there is a few things to this. As you can see, this is a event. Um, if you want to search a remote event, you can see it's right here. This is the fire to the server that we did something. Now, we're going to actually open up and look at, look at something. But at the moment, we've got the server script. And then this local character script. Now, locally, this is when we're going to be firing that look script up to the server so people can see you moving your head. Now, in here, um, we have a few things. We have the ca player's camera, and then you grab yourself, the character, the root, the neck, uh, offsets, and all these stuff. Okay, so um, I'm going to explain the request first, and then maybe I'll try and attempt to figure out this R15 thing because, guys, i got to be honest with you. I don't know how to do this. I don't understand any of this. I didn't make this, but um, I'll show you. I think I know a bit of it. So um, right here, though, we're going to be doing request replicated storage look and then on client event. So on client event, uh, other player next C frame, local neck equals other player character. Find for style neck true. So if neck, so once we find the player's neck, we're going to create a tween, ser tween service. I'm guessing this is where we're going to do the neck frame. So maybe if we're actually on server event. I wonder where we get that from. Well, either way. So render step. Da, 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 da. Okay. Yeah. So while we do, we're going to create a while script. And we're going to be firing that looks server. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're grabbing the player's necks, I'm guessing. And we're basically displaying them to ourselves. So in this server script, we have on player. Uh, let's see here if value and then a uh, current head position is my magnitude minus 10 let's see a position is character head position uh, 10 then look fire car of and value player next e frame okay so i'm guessing if it is not that then we do this um but uh yeah so once we grab this and you put those in the right spots we actually um Go over here and it should work so as you can see my head is moving a certain way up and down side left it is the way you look too and you can i'm holding this down so let's say i go right here okay until i hold it down everywhere i hold it down so right now it's still fit over here i'm i'm still putting my head that way so basically how this works is it's like directing the certain camera angle um but that's pretty much it, you guys. I don't have too much to talk about because I don't really know the main angles and stuff with this. I already know. Let's say this. Okay, rig type equals R15. So then this is going to be that. But if it's R6, so I guess this is compatible with both R15 and R6. So that's pretty lit, guys. Um, 
But, um, yeah. Oh, wait. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So I think that's it, guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. I'm sorry this isn't too much explaining. I don't want this to be really short. I just wanted to get it out to you for people who may want it, who may not want it. Um, next video will be hat and face commands. I am working on that. Um, we got a lot of video coming. videos coming to end this vibe game series, guys. I got to get it out of here. <laughs> There's so much I want to do. But, um, yeah, we're gonna. it's going to take a bit, though. Okay, thank you, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.